Hey everyone, how's it all going? Back today with another Meatless Mondays. I'm gonna have to make this intro very quick and today will be quite short because I've actually just gone untrained and now I've got to head off to work. I had to head in an hour early, so I haven't really had time to eat. So what I'm actually just gonna do is I've chucked a, cause it's quite a warm day, I've chucked a um, peanut butter flavor, peanut butter pie, um, one bar in the fridge to let it cool. And I'm gonna grab that and just take that to work. That's my breakfast, cause I've got to get going really quickly. And yeah, sorry about the big rush, but I've just got to head off. Um, yeah, I'll sort of see you guys either after work, which is, I'm only working 11 till four. So either after four o'clock or a little bit of the way through the work when I'm on my break. All right guys, so I've now finished up at work. Um, very full on day. Um, as you see in the video now, um, the little bit of the snack that I had in my quick work break was just some of that Cilial no fat yogurt, two tubs of that, as well as a punnet, 250 gram punnet of strawberries and just a sugar-free Red Bull. So all up today, I've only eaten just under 500 calories. So I'm not all that hungry though, because I did have my big macro cap meal last night. But still, I've got to make sure I do get in those macros for the rest of the day. I'm going to head back home now and probably start on some editing. So I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, guys, back at the house. Actually just spent the past hour and a bit editing a bit of a fun video I made yesterday for that I did with my macro cap. So I made this just insanely big sandwich. It's just exporting now. So I'm just going to upload that onto YouTube before I start making my dinner. So it's about six o'clock, so by the time I get all this up, it's probably gonna be at half past six, but 500 calories at half past six at night, that's not great, not great at all. Sometimes it doesn't come down to just not eating, it's about not having the time to eat. And when you do eat, you don't really feel like having really calorie dense foods, you know, fatty foods, or say for instance with me, when I'm at when I'm in work, when I'm in the work zone, I don't want to be full on greasy food. I don't want to be full on high fat nuts or oils or anything like that. So you saw like at, at lunchtime, I just had some yogurt and berries and that's all I felt like. Sometimes, you know, you just gotta to listen to your body and eat what your body tells you. Anyway, I'm not complaining now. I've got like 1500 calories to play around with. So I'm just gonna finish exporting and uploading this sandwich video to YouTube, you guys will have to check it out. I've probably already linked it, but it was it was pretty epic. Time for dinner, I guess. All right, guys. So I've decided for my, for my evening for my evening meal tonight. I'm just gonna make a really simple stir fry. I have not made a stir fry for months and months. It used to be an every night thing, but back in the stir fry game, instead of using Hoiken noodles or Singapore noodles, I'm actually gonna use some soy bar noodles tonight. Just a packet, 200 gram packet of soy bar noodles. Just heaps of different veggies. And I reckon I'm gonna use, um, this is just a fillet of hokey. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, it's just like a white fish. For my American viewers, simple to tilapia. Really simple vegetable stir fry with some fish for dinner. an enormous stir fry. I really underestimated how much was in that stir fry. It's got all the soy bean noodles, um, fish, soy, oyster sauce, all the good stuff. Can't forget the 
Sriracha Rooster Sauce. And this whole dish comes to 932 calories, which is quite a lot, but all right, this focus is bad, which is quite a lot, um, but it's because it's got, you got soybean noodles, which are very high in protein. Just for that one packet of noodles, you're looking at 14 grams of protein, which is pretty insane. And as well as heaps of veggies and heaps of fish. The 932 calories, 138 carb, 11 fat, and 77 protein with 23 grams of fiber. I'm gonna enjoy this meal and then get back to you guys for dessert. Okay guys, so had it finished dinner, which was absolutely awesome. I love the difference between them and the standard Hoiken or Singapore noodles. Love the texture and yeah, everything. It's weird, I'm getting getting all like emotional about noodles, but they're just so damn good. So for dessert, I know you're all probably waiting for me to make something really cool. And like, like last week I made the vegan ice cream and I am feeling like ice cream actually. So vegan ice cream is actually quite tempting, but so is normal ice cream. And normal ice cream is perfectly fine for vegetarians. So sorry I have to do this guys. Ice cream of choice tonight, just standard dairy milk Caramello flavor. I could tell you the macros on the servings, but you just eat the whole thing. 764 calories for the whole tub, 35 grams of fat, 99.5 grams of carbs, and 12 grams of protein. So because I'll, I'll, if I don't eat any more protein, I'll be very low on protein. What I'm just gonna do, very cheap way of getting in protein, just grabbing some micellar bulk nutrients, vanilla flavored micellar casein. Mixing in some almond milk. A little bit of ground cinnamon. And there you have the lazy person's vanilla cinnamon icing that you just eat straight as is. You guys can call me a cheater. I'm totally fine with it. This is the biggest cheap way of getting in protein. Oh, but it tastes so good. It's just like fluffy mousse air. It's so fluffy! It's like dense whipped cream. If you guys don't do this with your casein, you're crazy. All right, guys, I'm gonna go and enjoy this ice cream. I'll let you guys know the calories I hit today. 2,300 calories today. 153 protein, 298 carb, and 56 fat. I've actually dropped my calories again now, which is my daily, regular daily targets about 2,450. This is just in a build up to Christmas. I wanna lose weight a little bit quicker for Christmas, because obviously it's Christmas time and I'll be eating a lot of food. So that's what my current calorie situation is at the moment and the calories that I hit for today. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this very short, very unproductive Meatless Mondays episode. I do apologize for that. If you did enjoy the video though, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also comment below and let me know any recipe ideas you think I should cover for Meatless Mondays next week. And I'll be sure to feature them as well. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and at Snapchat at Lewis underscore eats. And remember guys, don't be afraid to learn, explore and try new things. See you on the next video.